Soon as you can walk, you learn to run. Once you learn to ride a bike, you never forget. These two modes of transport are ingrained in each of us, but they will only get you through two thirds of a triathlon. And that's where these folks come in. Does everybody have a swim buoy? If no swim buoy, no swim. We have one here we can lend you. If you really want to have a kayaker or let somebody know that you need assistance, put your hand up in the air, tread water. Lila Navalis has done more than 40 triathlons and still she's not a fan of being in the water. My weakness is swimming, so I wanted to challenge myself to be able to swim better. Among most new triathletes, they are least experienced at the swimming portion. Some races will allow competitors to do their swimming in a pool, but many will require swimming in open water, like a lake or a river. The experiences are vastly different. They've been used to swimming in the pool where they can watch the black line, but in open water there is no black line and there are a lot of other things that float around that they need to get used to. It's psychological. You know, when you're in open water, you know, you can't stop and stand up, you know, and just rest and, uh, you know, and, and also there's no, uh, there's no line at the bottom, you know, to keep you on track. Howard Cohn has competed in several triathlons and has experienced paralyzing fear and disorientation during some of his swims. It's not frequent, but you could have a panic attack in the water, you know, and, uh, you know, or you can not really know which direction you're going. I got on my back when I could and kept going when I could and, um, but it was definitely scary. It was, it's definitely tough. It's different than the pool. Oh, it is cold. It is cold. Nobody told me that. <laughs> Victoria Morales is gearing up for her first half triathlon and the swim can be intimidating for her. She has competed in one open water swim before and did not finish that part of the race. Oh, I, as soon as I got out of the water, I was so angry. Um, one of the kayakers was like, oh, how are you doing? And he just, I, was, I knew I was the last one. He kind of stayed with me and I was like, I don't know why I signed up for this. So all three of them take part in the Richmond Triathlon Club's open water swim practices on the James River. For those who aren't used to swimming outside of a pool, there are hazards that might never be considered until they are unexpectedly experienced during a race. You have people rubbing on your shoulders, touching your feet. Some might even swim over you. Some swim under you in a race. So you have to be prepared for that. When you're swimming in a group, you're getting kicked. And you hear about it, you read about it, but you know, it's... Uh, it's, it's new when it actually happens to you. I've gotten friends that have sent me articles of what's in the James River, so that's been really nice um, and very scary at the same time. So as long as I don't think about it and I'm just like, I gotta get to the, from beginning to end, from point A to point B, then I'm good. The club trains between 15 and 25 new swimmers each year. Kayakers are in the water every few feet to not only offer support, but encouragement. Themes that are prevalent whether you're in the water or not. It's very different, but they want to keep doing it because they already have the bug. <laughs> oh, they're they're very supportive of the uh, the newbie, you know, the slower people. You know, and it's not. There's no shame. You just show up, and um, you know, you're going to get encouraged. Everyone is so great in the tri community. They cheer you on, even if they're passing you. They're like, "Great job!" I mean, I was just on um, at West Creek riding my bike and. A whole group was riding by us and they were like, you're doing a great job and they didn't even know me. The real payoff comes at the finish line. When you finish a triathlon, you have such an immense sense of achievement. I just felt great when I when I finished. I was, was much slower six months ago, but as you have somebody that's telling you what to do and helping you train, it's it, it gets easier. It does get easier. We wish all of them good luck in their upcoming races. For more information on the open water swim sessions, you can go to the club's web website at richmondtriclub.com.